So I'm at Heathrow Terminal 2, Queen's Terminal apparently. Um, I'm travelling to Thailand today, uh, Phuket. So in this episode, I will explain to you how to travel to Thailand, what is the latest Thailand travel requirements, and of course I'm going to cover the documents that you need, what you need to prepare, uh, best way to do it. Also, I'm going to talk about the entry, Thailand entry requirements as well. And as you know, guys, from 1st of October, um, the rules have changed. But I'm not going to tell you right now, so make sure you stay right till the end. So my flight is 21.35 with Eva Air uh, Zone A. So I'm in the right zone, hopefully. <laughs> so by the end of this episode you will know exactly how to travel to Thailand and how to travel to Phuket. I also have a little bonus point for you um, if you stay right till the end. I will show you airport in Phuket, taxis, arrival area, um, you know what checks they do so you'll be fully prepared for your trip. Oh and if you guys are new to my channel my name is Natalia my channel is everything that you need to know about moving abroad living abroad, moving to Thailand, daily life in Phuket. So if this is, and do you know what? I talk about so many useful subjects like bank accounts, how to get the visa, how to get driving license, the cost of living in Thailand, you know, so much useful stuff. So don't forget to subscribe if this is what you're looking for and enjoy today's episode. Right, so here is the back backdrop area. Not busy at all actually. Not too bad. And that's a check-in. I've already done mine, so I'm good to go. Okay, guys, so I've just uh, got rid of my cases. And you know what? First time ever, they're under. Um, I'm traveling with Eva Airline, and I was allowed to check in two suitcases, 23 kg each. That's 46 kg. I mean, yeah, I, I was fine. So, good news. Nobody asked me about the vaccination records. That's one thing. Second thing, nobody asked me about a return or an onward flight from Thailand. This is weird because my ticket is a one-way ticket. So, let's see what happens in Phuket. But I'm not allowed to tell you guys what I've done with my onward journey because this video will be deleted again. I always get in trouble with YouTube because I say something wrong. So this time, if you do, I mean, stay till the end, but if you want to know what I've done, it's a little trick. You're going to have to text me on Instagram because I'm not going to, I'm not going to film it here. Yeah, because I'm going to get in trouble. Well, not film it. I'm not going to voice it here. Let me just steal one of them free bags things. It's just really good for like snacks and stuff, you know? Uh, and right, I need my boarding pass. Hang on. My gate is actually already on the screen B48, but I'm just, I want to get a few bits before I go. And also, I'm going to give you a tip, okay, so you don't, so you don't feel jet lag. Don't sleep on overnight flight. Just don't sleep. Go and have a coffee. I'm going to do it now. Um, so that way you can just go to bed tomorrow when you're in Thailand, wake up no jet lag like fresh fresh as a daisy not sure if you guys know but from 1st of October 2022 you can get 45 days visa on arrival so before it used to be 30 days and another uh, kind of useful information you can extend it for an additional 30 so basically you can get into Thailand get 75 days visa free i have a very useful episode of um of how to do it in immigration the extension i'm talking about so what i'll do i'm going to put it in the description below um yeah i, I mean i'm going to cover a lot of episodes in this video so instead of like displaying it at the end of the video and all that bs that all the youtubers do i'm gonna just put it all in the description help yourself nice and easy i mean i've got so many videos on my channel that i don't want you to waste time oh there's a nice uh seafood champagne kind of bar i'm just thinking right up my street and this okay. one here 
Nice, right? I like high chairs. Another well. place right up my street. <laughs> a Rolex. To be honest, I'm more of a Cartier girl. I've got one actually, so if anybody wants to get me a present for Christmas, I like Cartier, okay? <laughs> In my dreams. So I want to get some deodorants. And uh, what else do I need? I wanted something else. You know what? I feel so hot. I think I'm going from menopause. Let me go and have a look. Oh, and I wanted to get um, tampons actually because in Thailand they don't have a really nice tampon so I use these ones <laughs> these ones so it's so much more expensive here at the airport rather than in the um, actually do you know what my mate is coming in November I'm gonna get him to bring me some tampons <laughs> as a gift from UK right let me get some dual drugs you know what I wish I got it all in super drug so much more expensive they're taking the piss do you know like spf and all that kind of stuff like don't bother with it in the big sea um, they've got loads of that decent price so i wouldn't worry i wouldn't carry extra extra weight but then if you want to get some your favorite chocolates then do get it it's really expensive in thailand um what else have we got here maybe i want to get some chewing gums actually yeah i like these ones these are my favorite ones. I can't be bothered. Literally can't be bothered to even buy anything. I'm so tired. But I'm excited. I'm excited to get back home. I mean, I have home in three countries. Every time I travel somewhere, I say, oh, I'm so excited to get back home. <laughs> and people say to me, well, where's home? I said, I've got clear. Because Latvia is home, UK is home, and Thailand is home. So I've got three homes. Fortunate, right? Oh, I can see some boys in the bar. But you know, guys, I was saying about the Phuket airport. So basically, um, at the end, I will show you the entire Phuket airport experience, um, especially if you are traveling, so you know what are the prices for the taxis, because, you know, you don't want to get ripped off. So, and also, do you know what? Make sure, guys, you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to continue to provide to you a very valuable information because I will be living in Phuket so you know if you want to hang out give me a shout find me on Instagram to be honest I prefer comments on uh, YouTube because um, especially if you ask questions because then other people can read the answers um, it's just more more efficient you know you know I said about the useful episodes and one of the videos in particular which I've used every time and it works of how I saved on rent so you can save at least 30% so I give a very um, I don't know how, how can I say it unique tips that works every time so I will also put it in a description so let me cover what documents you need so far obviously your passport okay <laughs> that's that's uh, that's given um, and then you need a return flight or an onward flight to show when you're gonna um, leave Thailand then you need it's not mandatory by the way guys but I would recommend um, a travel insurance the one that I use as a safety wing, uh, if you've been my subscriber for uh, you know a few months, you know I use this insurance and I can't recommend more of how great um, this product is. So if you're already away guys, don't worry, you can purchase it abroad. Also, for young children, I think up to age, and hold on a second, what is the age, wait. Up to two kids, so one adult and one kid, 10 years of age and younger it can be included on the insurance for free that's good so if you're traveling as a family of four um, for sure you're gonna save a lot of money and like I've said before you will be covered for a road accident so just make sure you've got your international driving license when you do go to Thailand I know COVID is still a major concern for a lot of people so with the new policies for safety wing you do get covered for COVID so safety wing doesn't just cover it for COVID but also for quarantine as of 
15th of April 2021 so I mean what I'll do I will display a link in the description have a look at it have a read very easy to understand very simple to purchase it's like a subscription basically you can either do it for one trip or for one month um, or pay it monthly if you travel around a lot like I do um, do you know what's really good about it as well you can add countries as you go so I'm planning to go to Bali at some point so I can just add it to my policy which is amazing and of course guys if you do use my link um, I will get a little commission oh what's up so that's enough about the travel insurance and then you don't need a PCR test and you don't need to show a proof of vaccination so basically Thailand um, is open for everybody I read online a lot that sometimes you may get asked to show cash so I always recommend to have at least 20,000 baht cash on you uh, for the immigration purposes one more thing that I guys actually two more things I would recommend for you if you know to take with you first it's uh, VPN because you ain't gonna be able to access many sites whilst you're in Thailand I use Nord VPN so have a look at it I think with my link you get an additional 10% discount I'll put it in the description and also the Amazon Fire Stick just so you've got you know movie channels in my apartment um, I don't have not even one English channel nor Russian channel literally the only channels that I have are all in Thai so um, with the Amazon Stick I bought I think it's like 29 pound again put it in the description with all the headers so it's easy for you to navigate and if you don't know how to access the description because I'm sure there are people out there that doesn't know what I'm on about I'm gonna show you a little clip guys so I'm in Bangkok <laughs> I haven't slept for 26 hours fresh as a daisy uh, so now I'm getting a connected flight to Phuket and I have 50 minutes 50 minutes to go from one plane and go and find my gate so hopefully I'll get there on time honestly do you know what for the uh, past 11 hours do you know what I was thinking that I really need to get my hair done. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm so fortunate that I was able to find a very good nail technician in Phuket. I've just asked girls, are you all going home? And they're like, no, we're still waiting for another <laughs> client. <laughs> Look at them. They, they, they hate us. They hate us women with our nails. <laughs> also a skin clinic for all my facials. That's really important. I Do you know what's funny? And I think it's really, really good. When you come here for the hair removal treatment, they tell you not to shave. So I've had a number of sessions in UK, and I think it's just, it's just so bad, but they tell you to come to the salon already shaved. So when they told me here that we shave you, I was like, are you sure about that one? But um, I think it makes a total sense because I asked them, I said, well, why do you, why do you want to see my hair? First, they want to see where the hair is, and I swear to you, my armpits, it starts from like elbow down to here. And eyebrows I do myself, eyelash lift, I also have a salon, but 
I haven't got a good hairdresser. So that's my goal. Oh, there's free drinking water, just so you know, at the airport. Um, oh, anyway, girls, if you need details of any of the salons that I go to in Phuket, just comment below or text me on Instagram. In a, in a skin clinic, I get 10% off for my YouTube. So, um, yeah, or let me see where, where I'm going. Literally, I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm just following the signs. It's quite confusing. There's three different signs saying connecting flights. But there's a big sign that say like a blue color. But you know what? I don't think it's very clear. And when I've looked at the screen for the departures, my flight is not on there. So maybe I need to get to the other terminal, to the other gates, and then it will be on the screen. I'm not sure. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Do you know what I've just realized that everybody is wearing a mask apart from me. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to put the mask on. So I found it. Now I'm gonna go through the passport control. They put this sticker on me. Wait. Do you know what? Uh, I've just had such a banter with the immigration. Um, they thought that I'm still have educational visa. I said, no, 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 that's expired. I'm on the visa on arrival. So I was like, oh, I get 45 days now. And they said to me that I was the first person that actually knows that we get 45 days. I said, yeah, from 1st of October. So they have a laugh that I'm so aware of all the rules and regulations. There's another security check-in and they actually scan your hand luggage. So basically it's been two since I've been in Bangkok. Hi guys, I made it. I found the gate. I am going to Phuket. I think I even have a time for the toilet. Pretty much the last one to board. So if you only have 50 minutes between each flight, you need to hurry up. Like, don't take your time, run. Finally, and do you know what? I just heard an announcement. In the, sorry, oh, two minutes. I've got loud guys. Can you imagine I get to Phuket and there is an announcement um, in Russian? <laughs> Honestly, you feel like you arrive into Russia, not to Thailand. So funny. But I suppose that's their top nationality for tourism, so kind of makes sense, guys big news there's no tm6 you know before i actually have an old one saved in my passport it looks like this so you needed it for all sorts of stuff to leave the country to go to immigration like for many purposes so now this form does not exist so i was just chatting to a member of staff and i said are you sure <laughs> she was like yeah i said do you speak english <laughs> You know, like sometimes people say, yeah, 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 and then they don't understand you. She said, yeah, so no more TM6 form. And she said, I wouldn't have a problem if I need to extend my visa in immigration. So fingers crossed, that's the case. So far, guys, I had no immigration. Now I'm just waiting for my suitcase. And it took literally two minutes. Two minutes, I'm not even kidding. So I love it. It's so simple. So guys, no issues with the taxis. You've got the taxi minibus there, and then the taxi 
also me bus i'm just thinking what's the difference prices are the same i can tell you what the prices are actually so for example from here to patong is 800 baht and then join minibus is 180 so say if it's a gang of you then you can get the join one not bad actually so simple before you had to like stand here shout argue you know like negotiate bargain now the prices are written you know nice and simple yeah i'm at the entrance number five so it's international arrival exit number five or entrance or exit there's some chairs here that you can sit down if you smoke i think there is a smoking area i gave up thank you thank god for that oh yeah it's another 60 meters the smoking area i can just see the signs so yeah i mean i just can't i still can't get over that there's no immigration i was like i i had to I had to go around and ask stuff i said are you sure I, I am illegal to enter like this literally they put the stamp 45 days happy days and, and and that's it no forms no nothing literally nothing I can't get over it because last time I traveled here I had to do COVID test isolation and all sorts of bullshit <laughs> excuse my language anyway he's here <laughs> Oh, hope guys you enjoy this episode it's my little baby on the background it's not my baby but anyway don't forget to subscribe and like this video see you soon well guess guys what is the first thing i've done since i've arrived to phuket i'm walking my buddha view mentally don't forget i do provide consultation guys so if you need help to plan your trip to understand the pricing to ask advice what to do what not to do um i will share all the details in the description so have a look at it and again um, i think it's very reasonable price and you get to know me i get to know you um and then i can help you with anything that you you need to know about thailand or phuket and also if you are traveling to phuket i'm starting my buddha therapy walks um yeah so if you want to know more contact me on instagram i'll share my my name here in instagram but it's inside akika obviously that is my name <laughs> anyway hopefully to chat too soon